which antioxidants are great for like making you stronger. Um, the blueberry leaf is used as a balancer for blood sugars. Now, if you're diabetic, um, don't go out and think you're going to get rid of your insulin and start taking uh, blueberry leaves. Uh, but one of the things I did get when I was working at the uh, medicinal herb shop up in DC area was um, I had two different guys that would come in and buy the blueberry leaves in capsules and one of them was super meticulous. He, they were both just borderline uh, diabetic and this one guy had a spreadsheet with charts and <laughs> lines drawn on it about how his blood sugar was reacting and had you know dates on there to mark when I changed my diet, when I started doing the blueberry leaves. And he swore as anecdotal evidence that after the blueberry leaves came into the mix, that line kind of did this instead of, instead of this. So um, the leaves also have a boatload of antioxidants in them, even more so than the fruit, believe it or not. So um, uh, not very tasty though, so I would not take a tea thinking you're gonna have a good tasting tea. A lot of herbs are that way though. Um, I studied Tai Chi with a uh, acupuncturist from China for years up in DC and um, he would give me this stuff like bags of roots and sometimes even dried animal parts in there and things <laughs> and the whole idea was to put a big pot of water on the stove put them in there boil it down to a few inches from the bottom put more water in boil that down to a few inches and you do that about five times by the time you get to that last boil down, you've got this thick, brown, nasty tasting stuff, but it was just, it's super strong. You know, I think, uh, I don't think we, I don't think we cook things long enough over here in, in America. Everything's gotta be really quick for us here. So um, uh, the longer you let it steep, the longer you let it cook, the stronger it's gonna be. Also, the more bad it's probably gonna taste too, so. Um, <laughs> So that's blueberry leaves. Let's see what...